Scratch. This is a multi-platform website slash app and coding engine that you can make projects. This is the front cover. So you have to first have to create an account. I'm already logged in, but I'm just gonna sign out. You need to click sign in or click join Scratch. If you join Scratch or do this, it takes like, it takes like five minutes to make. It's also free. Scratch is completely free. So Scratch. You can easily learn it by practicing yourself, watching official Scratch videos, watch tutorials, or getting an online tutor or classes. It is really popular and it is also really simple. Like if I click create, I'm making a new project. Make sure that you make sure that you only log in if you want to save your projects. And have effect on cloud projects and other people's projects. So when you first play, there's this tiny copy for tutorials. We we're not gonna need this today. You can watch it if you want, but I'm gonna show most of you that technique. This is the Scratch Cat. It is literally what Scratch is based on. And then here there's the edit. You can turn on turbo mode. It'll just make it a lot faster and stuff. You can restore stuff like if I bring this and then delete it. Uh, if I delete the scratch cat, yes. I click edit, you can restore it. Click file, there's a new one, you can just make a new one, or you can load from your computer, use your files to make one, or you can download this to your computer. And then there's the settings. There is color mode, original high contrast, just makes everything look a bit different. And then there's language. Scratch is supported on a lot of languages, but we're just going to stick to English right now. I'm also going to turn off high color mode, contrast mode. So there's three tabs in Scratch, the code tab, where all your code is. We'll be talking about the code tab in the rest of the tutorial series. And then there's the costumes. A Scratch cat has like, can have thousands of costumes. These are made for animations. Like if you just do this, See, it's kind of animation, just when it just if you add a bit more frames. This you can easily use the costume editor by like deleting parts, and then you can draw shapes like squares. And if you hold shift while clicking, making a square makes an even square circle. Same thing. So it's uh, this, uh, and you can just use the mouse and then delete it all. And if you get a shape and then click in this button, may be confusing at first. You can remove or add points. To add a point, just click on someone that doesn't have a point, like there. And to delete a point, just click it and click delete. Delete. Make sure you don't delete all the points, then it'll go like, yeah, like that. Then there's the eraser. You can also draw, like, yeah, you can draw high. <laughs> and you can use your eraser to erase that. While you're erasing, it might look like it's coloring white, but it's not actually. Like when you stop erasing, it'll disappear. Then there's a text. It's pretty simple text. It's pretty simple. It's text, but then there's also a lot of fonts. There are some extensions like Scratch add-ons and Scratch tools to get more fonts and customize Scratch. Unfortunately, there is no dark mode, but you can use extensions for that. So. Then there's also this fill color, like if you get shapes, you can use the fill thing and change this. And change it on both. And there's the color. But this, there's middle gradient, there's like bottom to top, left to right, and then right over. These are all gradients, they look really good, and it's fun to tweak with them. Tweak with them, and then there's these. There's the color selector, the saturation selector, and then the brightness selector. This is all, there is also this where you can steal something, take something's color like from the stage. It won't do anything if there is no color, and then this will just make it invisible. Then we have the outline. This would be the border of it, like if I create a shape. If I create a shape, see, the border is 1. I can change this to 100. It, for some reason it won't render, but like... 10. Ooh, let's try the one again and just make it bigger manual. And then we can also make this a different color. Like I said, I'm 
black, we can make something else. Oh, and, and then, yeah. Now, this is one. We can make it bigger, 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 and then try 100. Yeah, if you do 100, it gets a bit crazy. And test for this as much as you want. This is basically just a line. Because the outline is huge, like if we just remove the background, which is this, and then create a brand new line, it'll just, and then just create a brand new line, nothing will really happen. Because it needs a background, of course. Then, there's this. This is the delete. If you make something, you don't have to use your keyboard to delete, or just drag it off. You just, you just need, to, you need to click this, and then you have to click mouse for it to come up. You click this, and then click delete. Then if you make something and you really want to save it, you click the mouse, click copy, then you can click paste, and also do control C V. And then this, this is a very useful tool. Like if I make something and then make it like this, where it's just sideways, for a better example, when you go back on the mouse, this flips it. It just flips it horizontally, and then this just makes it upside down. This will bring it to the front, and this will bring it to the back. It doesn't do anything because there's only one thing, but if we move like something this, like this, different color, and then we use the mouse, we can make this in a front, or the back, or forward, or backwards. Then, that's mostly it, but if you select, click and hold it, you more than one thing, you can group them. That, and then I'll make them one thing, which means you can just copy and paste easily. And then you can do this on every single costume. And then here you can choose a costume, pre-made ones, realistic ones. Well, this is a lot of pre-made, like a home button for your game. A lot of pre-made stuff for your games. Then you can paint one. It'll just create a blank one. And then you can also... It'll give you a surprise, like a random one, maybe with a, like a difference than the regular one. And then you can upload from your computer. Clicking this will open up file, your files, and then you can upload from your computer. You can also come here and do Control C V, or you just this can go here, Control C, and then Control V again. It'll just create more costumes. You cannot delete the first costume. You can create a new costume. You're going to create a new costume and delete the first one, but there always has to be one costume. We'll talk about switching costumes later. Then there's the sounds. Right now we only have one sound, we can get as many as we want. And if you click this, it'll make the sound. You can't hear it because it's the recording, but I can. And there's a lot of really good sounds that you can use in any, in any of your Scratch games. They're pretty good for music, and like the Meow, it goes like the meow, and you can just add this to your cat sprite. Then there's all these tools. You can copy it, copy it to a new one, and then paste it again. And then there's the delete. But then there's this. You can make it faster. Like, changing this makes it sound hilarious. We can make it slower. Right now it's really fast, because I clicked it a lot. If, if you make it faster and slower, it won't make it the original thing. Then there's louder. And there's quieter, and then I accidentally click mute. Mute just removes the sound. Fade in, that means it sounds light, and then darker. Dark, the lighter reverse just flips it. A robot, it sounds like a robot. <laughs> That's basically it. Same thing, there's a choose the sound, there's the record. Uh, just, if you want to click allow while visiting this device, I'm just going to click allow this time. And hello, and then click save and then play. It worked. And then we can make it slower. You guys can't hear it, but it didn't sound like it. So that's practically a uh, sound. Just look quickly. You can come here, switch costume, and you can also go on this sound tap and then do play sound. This meow sound will be from here. You can remove all sounds from this one. And then there's the backdrop. This is the background of your, this is the stage, the background. You, right here, you can choose a background, like blue sky too, blue sky. But then you can paint one, 
then you can also sub you can also paint again. You can also surprise one, a random one. So no, remember the if you upload a picture, the bigger it is, the less quality it'll be to be able to match. In this is exactly the costume, mostly the exact same thing. You can also import. Then there is the sprites. A sprite is the character. You can choose a sprite. As you can see, this is almost the exact same thing as the costume, because a sprite, well, is a costume. Oh, and if you hover over them, some of them are animated. When you get them, don't be surprised and think your website and thing, your computer is broken because it's not animated. This is what it will show if you animate it. More on animating on the looks tutorial tutorial video in this playlist links in the description and and then you can choose one of these i'm just going to choose the crystal because it looks good and then boom there you can change the size to a thousand you can this is the x and y like zero zero would be the dead center it would be the dead center of the board of the stage direction 90 this is a lot better you can make it 180 and you can also send it to numbers if that's not good and you can also flip it or remove this makes it a bit different and then there is the visibility you can hide it show it and then this is the name the name is very important because then because the name detects like touching mouse pointer sprite one this which is this or or because it won't show crystal if we go here crystal that the name is important try, usually try to name it what you're trying to make and then that's it for the spray editor we already done the stage and then there's these two the tutorial well these are all the tutorials like there's arrow keys hide and show change size this is like you're gonna you, you can check these tutorials out yourself these are the beginner tutorials these are the intermediate tutorials video sensing talking tales Imagine a world, create animation, that talk. You can make a chase game, make a clicker game, a ping pong game. You can make a cartoon, you can make an adventure game. You can even animate the name. Like if I click the ping pong, it brings it brings steps of how to create the ping pong. It even gives the code. And then, yeah, it gives the code and it's pretty simple. And then if you don't like it, you can also go on their YouTube channel on YouTube to check out some similar tutorials, like the video sensing. You can watch it. It does have sound, but you guys can't hear it. This is what they're using using the video sensing. You can also have text to speech, which allows your projects to talk. There's translating. There's the makey makey, which means you can make like a key and another key to something. It does have micro bit. And Lego Mines from EV3. These th these three are kind of the same thing. This is like something else. You need a special extension for it. And all these four too. This is a pen. It's pretty cool. You can draw it in the... You can draw on the stage. And then this is just music. You can play instruments. Where you don't want this anymore. You can shrink this big in it. There's a lot. But then there's a debug tab. This, there's a read out loud. This is just to help you like fix your code. There's to break it down. Like break down pieces of your code, slow it down, slowly do your code, add, add sound checkpoints so you know if your code is working when the sound goes. Add timers with the block order so you know. See if you need to loop or not to loop. Timing and parallel. Are you trying to have multiple events at the same time? You might get unpredictable behavior. Think about block options. Maybe you did the wrong block. Check the values. Ask a take a break. This is like just stop and leave. You can also ask for help on some public websites. You can comment your code. Add comments to help you. To add a comment, just begin a block and right click. This brings a completely new tab. Duplicate, add comment, and delete block. Delete block will delete it. Duplicate duplicates it. And add comment. Adds a copy. You can make this say whatever, like, hello, this is test comment, comment, and then you see it's quite big and distracting from your code. If you click this tiny arrow, 
it'll like show the first couple words. If I just do hello, this is test. It'll show most of it. Like if I just do hello, it'll show it all. This like covers the comments, so when you're trying to debug your code, you can open it and see what's in it. Some blocks have different features, like if I like uh, some of them. And then if you right click the, the area where you drag the code, there's the undo, which undo something. Redo, redoes it like this, and then you do undo, you can redo and bring it back. And then there's the add comments. Of course, there's clean up blocks. We can't clean up blocks if we don't have any blocks, so I'm just gonna drag a lot of random ones. Now we can do clean up blocks. This makes it in order. We'll just keep this in here. You can delete this one. Make sure you only click this to clean up sprite. The clean up sprites, because it deletes everything inside the sprite that's only in blocks. So if I click this. Yeah, it also gives you a warning just to make sure it disappeared. There's the app comment, clean up blocks. Yeah. That's about this for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to click the next the video on the screen, which is gonna be the next episode of the tutorial. If it's not out yet, then watch one of my different videos. Then don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!